introduce uh, our first evaluator, Linda Snyder, CCCL, to evaluate uh, the speech of Megan Thomas, the icebreaker speech. speaking before an audience and to discover the speaking skills that you have and skills that need some attention. And it's a four to six minute speech. You certainly did that today. You came up here and spoke before us and I know that that's not easy for you. And I think you discovered some skills you have and some skills that you could improve. The book suggests that you tell us about yourself. But it does tell us that you need to limit those aspects because yourself could take up certainly more than four to six minutes. You picked an interesting way to tell us about yourself. You told us about a recent incident in your past. Those of us who have been here a long time remember the lady who talked to us about her shoes. And she had shoes that she brought up and told us different incidents in her life that related to her shoes. So we did learn a lot about you, although that is not specifically the goal of the speech. The goal of the speech is to begin speaking uh, and to discover your speaking skills. It suggests that you have an opening, a body, and a conclusion. And because of the way you told the story, you did have an opening, a body, and a conclusion. Some of us prefer to use a little bit more structured, where it's the tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. I especially liked your conclusion. It, it definitely caught our interest and explained, wrapped up the whole speech very nicely. Your choice of a title was also very good. Um, God's 1997 Dodge Neon. So we knew right away that this was going to have something related to God and something related to a car. The rest of it just held our interest. And you then went through all of the series of what occurred that day and, and the following day. You also gave us some great information about where to go if we get a check engine light. <laughs> and of course it is. It is a miracle. We all think it's a miracle when our check engine light goes off on its own. And it was, it was great the way you wrapped that up. You did have a prop, and while it wasn't the most clearly visible, it was a, a great risk to be using a prop right away and on your first speech, and I'm certain that your props will get better. You did talk, uh, you did read what was written in front of you primarily, but you had a lot of eye contact with the audience, and I thought you did a good job of that. Some of us suggest moving towards an outline as you go further so that you're filling things in on your own. You did have your hands behind your back most of the time, but you didn't look like you were uncomfortable with your hands behind your back, and so it didn't make us uncomfortable. You will learn as you go forward to move your hands a little more as you speak. Overall, I thought it was a great first speech. It had a lot of strong points, and I look forward to hearing another speech from you sometime soon. Thank you, Megan.